networking is so important to your success in life. It's a life skill. It's not just to get a job. It's a life skill. You know, related to that, a lot of people might be networking and networking, 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 meeting as many people as possible, but then take a look, step back and say, like, I don't know what the goal of this is, right? If I'm networking with someone outside of my industry, what's the goal? If it's somebody not in a company that I want to work for, what's the goal? If it's someone who's not directly going to help me get a job or maybe who I can directly had to get a job, what's the goal? So how do you, Trevor, think about networking? Should somebody be super general about it, super broad, talk to anyone, everyone? Should I set parameters around the kinds of people I want to talk to? How do you think about that? Oh, I love that question. So first of all, that's a mindset shift, okay? Um, this thing... We all know it, it changed the world, right? This thing absolutely changed the world. And I would say 15 years ago, yeah, networking was important, but not as important as it is today because especially with careers in corporate America and the way that the, the jobs are going nowadays, like it is absolutely vital to your, you know, your success. Networking is so important to your success in life. It's a life skill. It's not just to get a job. It's a life skill. And so I think that if you have the mindset shift of, you know what, throughout my life, I am going to build, nurture, and add new uh, connections into my life, like throughout my life. Yeah, you may not be at 100,000 overnight or or whatever, you know, like it's not going to happen like that. But over a lifetime, you're going to start to build an audience. And anybody know that guy named Joe Rogan? Anybody ever heard of him? Was like, I think he just got like a hundred million dollar deal from Spotify. Spotify yeah. yeah. Right. Um, okay. Maybe you don't land a hundred million dollar deal. Like that may not be your goal, but again, over a lifetime, right? Build an audience because anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. You really can. Anybody can do this. You build an audience over a lifetime. And right now, guys, I'm going to tell you, you can monetize, you can monetize an audience. Um, you might decide at a certain point, I'll leave corporate America. I don't want to go back. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to start my own business. It just opens up doors of opportunity that would never be there if you didn't have that um, going forward. So yeah, I, I would say connect with just about anybody um, unless you feel like they are a fake profile. And a lot of people are gonna disagree with this, right? So again, take whatever you think applies to you and works for you. In my opinion, I'm gonna connect with everybody. And here's why, because you never know how um, they can change your life or how you can change their life, right? One of two ways, one of two ways. I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. I was making content, I was doing daily videos, and uh, um, then I stopped for a little season. I stopped making these videos. And I had a lady reach out to me and she said, why'd you stop? And I said, oh, I got busy, whatever life, you know, I had whatever excuses I had. She said, why'd you stop? She said, you don't realize it, but one of your videos like kept me from committing suicide, right? And this was what I call a window shopper. This person was a window shopper. They never liked, they never commented. They never, they never engaged on any of the content ever, but they were consuming it. I was making an impact in her life, right? And it wasn't until I stopped that she engaged and she was like, why did you stop? And that's when the light bulb kind of really went on in my, in my, my mind, like how powerful this is and how powerful, like we have a responsibility. I feel like we have a responsibility. You have a microphone, you have a, you have a voice, like you have a responsibility. And so that's when the light bulb really clicked on. And you know, what's funny about that lady? That lady, I went back and did some research. Originally, she was trying to sell me something on LinkedIn. Where most people would have said block. Most people would have delete. Mm -hmm. Right? 
she was originally trying to sell me something. And I said, I said, yeah, I'll connect with you. Thanks, but no thanks. Right. And I didn't buy from her. And then she never engaged until years later. So that, that's a little story of mine, guys, that's personal to me because, because of that. And I, and I think that we're here to change people's lives. Either you can do it um, or they're, they're there to change your life on one or the other.